The world population is growing, with more people migrating to cities. By 2050, there will be 9 billion people on our planet. We all need food, water, and energy to live our lives. Quality infrastructure is necessary to make this possible. New roads, railways, bridges, and pipelines. But this consumes resources and threatens our environment. So while doing what's necessary, we must also try to protect our planet. This will also mean addressing climate change and altering the way we produce energy. So building a more renewable energy infrastructure is a must. This costs money, which could come from investors like insurance companies or pension funds. These partners look for steady returns, but renewables face many risks. Think of the damage violent storms can do to wind turbines during construction. Or how ships can wreck turbines during operation. And how no wind can mean shortfalls in energy production. The same goes for clean hydropower when there's less rain. Or for solar plants when the sun doesn't shine. For risks like these, we develop policies that protect investors but we face other hurdles too, such as regulatory uncertainty and a lack of tradable asset class. So we need to work together with regulators, governments, and financial institutions to remove these obstacles. For example, a private-public initiative could leverage the infrastructure finance expertise of international insurance companies and development banks. Such action would attract funds to build renewable energy infrastructure and protect our cities against the effects of climate change. It's up to us to build a more resilient society. Let's start now.